Ah, uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen, mofo. Ain't no time to slack. So just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother. Just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today I'm doing stuffed peppers. Now this was a video recipe request courtesy of Dan from New Zealand who sent this in a long, long time ago. So uh, hi Dan, sorry about the wait. And apologies to all these other people that sent me these requests in. I'm getting through them thick and fast. I promise I will do them. Yes, so stuffed peppers. I've had a massive lunch today and the stuffed pepper is perfect because it's kind of nice and light and if we make enough filling, we can actually keep some left over to help with dinner tomorrow night. So it's sort of like a win-win. Cha-ching. These are all the ingredients you need to make right one. So you just hit pause on the video and write them all down. Basically, we're gonna use the peppers as a hub. So we're gonna take the lid off and just stuff them with the rest of our ingredients. I've already prepared some of them. I've got cut up my uh, courgette there. Look, like a little Pac-Man shape. Chop up my garlic and my onion as well. But the good thing about stuffed peppers is you can pretty much do anything you want with it. They don't have to have meat in them. I'm going for beef mince, as you'll see there, and also if you hit pause on the video. But you can do vegetarian ones. Perhaps you can even do something like with duck and plum sauce or lime and chicken. You know, just go crazy. And um, if you do anything bonkers, let me know. So I was actually thinking, perhaps not about doing peppers, but maybe doing like a stuffed chili with like chocolate in it. I don't know if that would work, but if you want to try that, maybe I'll give it a go sometime. Anyhow, I've got a pan of water there, I'm going to put my rice on, and the rest is all going to come together very, very soon. Just want to quickly say, I'm so close to video recipe number 300. Can you believe that? Not like um, little like chat things where I've been talking to you, actual recipes, 300 videos. I've said, hi guys, welcome to, yeah, nearly 300 times, that is amazing. I'm not getting bored of it, and I hope you're not getting bored of me when I keep going with this. So, um, yeah, thanks for all the support on that, and... Uh, I love you. Anyway, let's, uh, let's crack on. Okay then guys, so in the background there we've got our saucepan of water on to boil which we're going to cook our rice. It takes about 18 minutes to cook that rice. In the meantime we're going to get a frying pan on and cook the meat and chuck all the other stuff in there. It's going to be cool. It should come together at the same time. One thing about your peppers though, when you're buying them in the shop, try and buy the biggest ones you can and also ones with a flat bottom, okay? So when you sit them on a baking tray it's not going to go and you get all the filling everywhere. That's, that's not going to be a good thing. So um, wait for your water to boil and we'll move on. All right, funky, that water there is just starting to boil, so I'm gonna pour my rice in now, and the 18 minutes is basically starting as of now. The clock is ticking. So, this pan here has got enough oil in there, it's nice and warm. I'm gonna pour our onions in first. Da -da 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 -da. Start to cook those. We've got ones to go too burnt, just wanna cook them through for about two or three minutes, then we'll start to chuck other stuff in with it. Yippee. Okay, so to the right of me there, we've got the rice and the onions cooking away. I've got a little bit of time to start working on my peppers. I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do one. I'm going to put it on its side and cut straight down, boom, 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 and then you will see this is our funky lid. You want to keep that bit there, and we've got to get the seeds out. There's a couple of different ways you can do that. You can run that under the tap now so the seeds fall out, or you can start to just cut in to these main little strands. I don't know what you want to call those things, holding them on, almost like a cobweb there. Just cut those through, and it will fall out a lot easier. So just cut through those for a minute. Right, I'll come back to that in just a minute, because as you can see, the onions are starting to soften and slightly change colour. We don't want that to happen just yet, so I'm literally just plonking in my slab of mince there. I'm going to just break it down. Make sure, by the way, that there's no packaging on the back of it. That can happen. I did check on mine. There isn't, okay? Good times. Brilliant, so that meat's starting to cook through. Obviously, you've got a mixture of red and brown to keep stirring it so it cooks evenly. We are not going for red meat, people. We are not raw food eaters, okay? Yeah. Okay, so to finish off my pepper, all I'm going to do is get my fingers in there, almost like a temping bowl. You see that? It's a little bit dangerous doing it this way. You need to make sure you wash your hands, especially with soap afterwards. Just get your hands in there and pull out that main seedy bit, okay? And then grab yourself a little tray. I'm using my leftover meat bit and just put it all in there. You might have seeds on your fingers like that, so wipe them off. Go wash your hands and make sure they're all out of there, okay? Good times. Okay, so my orange pepper da -da 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 -da, is done, like so. So we've got to do that exact same step to the other three peppers. Don't rush, don't think, oh, I've got to do the peppers now, rather than the mince mixture. Keep your eyes on this primarily, okay? So that is all nice and brown now. I'm going to chuck in my uh, garlic, which I've put in a shot glass. Just chuck that in there. I'm going to stir that through. About two minutes on there. My phone is vibrating, so I'm thinking there's some people that want in their mentions in this video, so I'll go check that now. And uh, all we've got to do in a minute is pour in our stock. Okay then guys, so there are a few shout outs to get through, I'll just check my phone, but anyhow, I just want to quickly show you the peppers, look, I've taken the lids off all of them, look, there's the red one in fact, and also, look, there's a copy of the film Due Date just hiding there under my microwave, I bought that a while ago, and I can't remember where I put it, and randomly it's under my microwave, so I'll probably watch that later. Anyhow, some shout outs on 
Facebook and Twitter. I've got to say hello to Rich Skinner. So, uh, hi Rich, how's it going, mate? Um, Jean Laszlo, hi Jean. Matthew Taylor, all right, Matt, how's it going, mate? Um, Anja Veyman, that's an amazing name. How's it going? Uh, Chris Evans on Twitter. I know Chris, he needs some more followers, so uh, go follow him. Um, Dizrain on Twitter, there we go. Go follow him. And also Mad Mac Tenants on Twitter. Go follow him. I'm getting hot now. Anyhow, this pan is ready to have all this other stuff added in, so I'm gonna do that right now by using this tripod. Yeah. Okay, so when I said by using the tripod, I didn't actually mean the tripod is gonna put the food in. I'm gonna do that and the tripod is gonna hold you. So anyway, got my courgettes, I'm gonna chuck those in there, do, 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 like that. Stir them in a little bit first of all. Our stock, pour that in. This is vegetable stock. Remember, if you're using chicken mitts, maybe you could use some chicken stock, it's all good. Red wine vinegar, I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of that and give it a bit more of a flavor kick. Amazing. I've got a couple of bay leaves here. This is completely optional, it's up to you. You don't have to chuck these in, it's gonna give it a little bit more flavor. Pour those in like that. Bit of salt. Low salt is good for you, you can use salt if you want. Season it a little bit. Pepper. I love my pepper. Stir that round and we're gonna bring it up to a boil. So let's turn that heat up on that. There we go. We're gonna simmer that for about 10 minutes and hopefully the rice and it will all come together and then we'll stuff our peppers, baby. Woo! Okay then guys, so you've got your two pans there simmering away like a bunch of mofos and you've got your peppers sat there and also your bowl of peas. Now these are starting to thaw out anyway and all you're gonna do is literally heat them through. They don't need to be in there from the start. In fact, peas, even when they're thawed out like that, they're cold, but you could probably live off them. Quick hello to Sophie Caperton, who's just said hello on Facebook. So, uh, all right, Sophie, how is it going, mate? And uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. We just sort of sit back now, enjoy the smell, because it smells amazing. Remember to flay your nostrils when you smell, because it helps. And uh, yeah, we're going to stuff these peppers very soon. Okay, guys, so I've just taken the rice off the heat. Look, it's gone, and I poured it into a bowl like that. It's going to sit there in a minute. We're going to chuck the meat in with it and stir it all through. Stir it like that. Okay, so I've taken this down to a very medium simmer. Even taken out my bay leaves, because I just want to make sure I don't need them in there. It's completely optional. You can have bay leaves in there if you want. Yeah, it's not going to kill you. Anyhow, the peas. Let's go. In they go. Black-eyed peas? No, just normal peas. Stir those through. Literally a minute in there, and then we're going to take that out of there into there. The main reason we left that there was to simmer it through to get the flavour in there and also make sure the courgettes are nice and softened. So pick one out and go like that. And then if it's softened, it's done. Okay guys, as Will Smith would say, wiki wiki wah wah, that is ready. So we're going to take it off the heat and mix it together in a bowl with our rice. Let's go. Okay, so that's your bowl with rice and I've just started to spoon the mixture in from the pan nice and slowly. Make sure you don't pour any on your floor, you're going to get in trouble with the missus. Okay guys, I've got a plate of grated cheese there. You'll see what I need that for in a little bit later, but I'm just gonna add a teeny bit of that into that mixture to act as a little bit of a cement. What we're gonna do now is like old school witch style with a cauldron, go like that, proper stir it together, and then we're gonna move on to the peppers. Now you're probably wondering how much are we gonna fill up the peppers? You've probably seen Titanic where there's that guy at the lifeboats at the end, they're like, fill the lifeboats, fill the lifeboats. And then when I'm watching that film, I'm shouting, fill the lifeboats, oh my God, everyone's drowning. Yeah, we're going to fill them to the brim, baby. We're going to get them right nice and flush in there, okay? So get them into a nice thing like that so they're not going to tip over. Stir your bowl and we're ready to go. Brilliant, so that is all mixed through. And you see what I mean about having loads left over for dinner? Students, if you're watching this, make a stuffed pepper, then you can feed yourself for a month. The ingredients for all this cost literally like six quid. Bargain, bargain, bargain. So what I'm going to do is carefully spoon that out of there and fill them all in there. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay guys, I've literally been sitting for about two minutes mulling over which colour pepper should I choose first. Don't really have to make that big a decision, but I'm going to use a nice small metal spoon to make sure I fill it in there nice and delicately. Once you fill it in and you think it's at the top, give it a little pat down like a sand cow so you want it all the way crammed in and then plonk the lids on top. So I'm going to keep filling these up. Okay guys, so these are filled to the brim. I live by the sea, so I'm pretty good at making sandcastles. And in fact, if you are the actor guy that played that guy in Titanic that said, fill these lifeboats, I hope you're proud of me, fella. So, I'm just gonna grab a lid of one of my peppers, and this is kind of like a jigsaw, you gotta work out which side went on which, so I'm just gonna put it there. I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so uh, put the rest of your lids on, please. Cool. Okay then, guys, so they've all got their lids on. All you should have left now is your cheese, which you're gonna sprinkle on at the end after you've had the little session in the oven. What we're looking to do is get them nice and cooked through, the peppers slightly softened. They might blister on the outside slightly. I'm mulling over getting my chef's blowtorch to do that. I'm not sure, I might do it, because some of you don't have those, I might. 
I don't know. Quick hello, actually, to Tom Larney, my friend from Boston, who's just said hello. I haven't seen him for years. He's like a really good friend of mine. So, hey, Tom and Paul and Rick, all my other friends from over in America, I love you. And uh, I'll see you again one day. Let's put it in the oven. Okay, guys, so a lot of you ask me what I do when I'm waiting for things to cook, like in the oven right now, where they're sat down there. Basically, I tidy up. I'm a messy chef, or cook, or host, or whatever you want to call me, and look at that mess. Amazing. I've got a tidy all up very soon. Um, also, I just want to quickly ask you, obviously with the video number 300 coming up very soon, if you've got an idea or a suggestion what you want me to do for video number 300, perhaps you want me to revisit video number one, the poached egg on toast, and turn it on its head. Um, I actually had a suggestion that I dress up as someone from the film 300, uh, which I will do if you want me to do that. But any other suggestions, ping on my way, and we are getting very close to it. So, um, he's nearly done. Yeah. Right here then guys, I've just finished cleaning in here and it is looking immaculate. My peppers are really nice and blistered, it's looking good. Not going to need the blowtorch at all. Hello Phoebe. Hello. How are you? Fine. Everyone's saying, where's Phoebe? Where have you been hiding? Um, sleeping in there. She's been sleeping in there, which is our front room. She's just been sleeping all the time. That's all she does now, she just sleeps. Cooks and sleeps, right? Say good night. Good night. Yeah, let's get these cheese on the, the uh, peppers. Yeah. Right, so I've just got these out. Look how blistered they are. The orange and the yellow have kind of merged together. You can't really tell which one's which. So I'm going to carefully take those lids off. Make sure you do that too. Put the cheese on it, and then we're ready to go back in for five minutes to melt it. Okay, so I've already done one. It's sticking out there. I'm not putting too much cheese on it. I don't want to overload it, but just enough. The heat from the peppers at the moment might melt it already, but we're going to give it a darn good cook. So let's plonk that straight back on there. Other two lids, and then back in the oven. Yeah. Okay then guys, it's been five minutes, that cheese is all melted through, I'm going to get them out. It is hotter in here than Mother Teresa in lingerie. Let's just get them out, I'm going to tell you what they taste like, and uh, hopefully you'll give them a go. Ching ching! Okay guys, so just off camera there, I've got them in their little oven dish thing. In fact, if I just swivel at camera, you can just see them around there. What I'm going to do, I'm not very good at judging how you actually spoon things on there, so I'm going to use a fish slice and a spatula to actually just pick mine up. Before you just hear me do this, do 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 do, and plonk it on the plate like so. So I'm going to get them all on there, let's go for it. Kaboom, that is them all on there. Let me just zoom in. Look how blistered they are. I love that effect on the peppers. It really makes them nice and sweet. So I'm going to try one of these right now. And we're done. Okay then guys, it's time to eat it. It's been a real emotional roller coaster this video. All I'm doing is just cutting straight into it. Look how soft that pepper is. Wow. Break, right, look at that. Wow. It's like huge. Let's let it all fall out. Yeah, let's break it down. It's going to cut up a little bit of pepper. Some of that filling. It is red hot actually, so uh, bear with me. Oh, it fell off. Oh yeah. I kind of want to like get all macho and go, who's the man? But that is pretty darn good guys. So, if I can make that absolutely anyone in the world can, have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on and I will see you again next time. I love you. Bye bye. Okay guys, last shout outs. I'm definitely going then. I want to say hello to Helen Spur, Kate Flamard and Alice Henley. Managed to fit you in. I'll see you next time. Love ya. High five!